George Mason University and we're here to talk with uh, Dean Andrew Flannel and he's going to be talking about college admission and I am really expecting to hear a lot about what the future things are going to be holding for us at this school. I'm really excited because I'm, I'm, I got interested myself in George Mason and I would not mind getting a little bit of early admission information and so I'm just hoping that everything turns out really well and usually they do. Most speeches we have had have been very informational and very good so I'm looking a lot forward to this. What about band? <laughs> you know, my message to the students is really about them owning this college admissions process. It's far too often they cede the control to the colleges and, and they believe that there's just one right college or university for them. The reality is they have choices and they're the ones in control of this process. And the more we can get the message out, the more we can de-stress students and help them make, I hope, better choices. Rounded and focused. Wait, Jason! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and here's the truth they don't know. The number one thing I learned from Dean Flagel was just don't let picking a college stress you out so much and that's really 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 difficult for me because I do not handle stress very well I'm working on it and I think that this really helped me because I have had struggles I've, I've literally had breakdowns in class because I didn't get the grade I needed <laughs> and this really helped me just let go of some of that stress and just realize that it's all gonna work out in the end and I love that he's a that he acts like a comedian and it really just relieves a lot of the stress. I think that really helped me out a lot. Minerals um, forms of, um, of uh, waste, waste. I just got finished with the conference with Dr. Trite and she was our keynote speaker. But learning from her, I really learned that you can do anything, even if you're foreign to our country, like she came in when she was 18, it wound up being fabulous for her because she got into math and science, and math and science is what led her to be able to be elected by President Obama and represent the energy department. My message to the students was that the only thing that can limit what they can accomplish is themselves. That to be part of something bigger than themselves makes life extremely interesting. And that education is the building block that allows them to explore the secrets of the universe and live the world a better place after they're gone.